hey, everybody, it seems that North America, not Europe, is not going to get disclosure from the government. A new 2025 NDAA in Congress has pretty well squashed any government or defense contractor talking about flying saucers or anything to do with that subject. I was privileged to receive this email that clearly says, decades of secrecy, disinformation, and psychological operations absolutely have prevented those wanting to know, yes please, more about what's happening in our skies and oceans across the earth from achieving a clearer understanding of those anomalous phenomena isn't going to happen next year. But as a European living here in France, that is very much a North American problem. I think you, if you're a European viewer, very much have already had disclosure. Catch up, USA. But the truth is actually already out there, as I often say. Today I'm going to share with you a fascinating document from 1982, 40 years ago clearly showing a US government funding into faster than light speed communication. So a bit of a catch up. What is FTL, faster than light communication? Well, radio waves, talking to your satellite, talking to the planet Zog, talking to your submarine, all happens at the speed of light. At its fastest, it can be slower. That's just not fast enough for two very good reasons. First of all, in today's military, you really need to be faster than the speed of light because it gives you an immense advantage over an enemy if you can launch something before they know it's going to happen. I mean, I'm joking, but just talking to your assets through the world via satellites, which often happens, needs to be as fast as damn possible. And my inside knowledge reveals that that actually is deployed today. Many militaries have so-called quantum communications that can actually speak to a distant asset faster than a radio signal. But the other reason that you would need FTL communication is to cover the vast distances of space. Even talking to your little robot on Mars can take up to 30 minutes, depending on how far away Mars is from Earth, and that varies. Just imagine you wanted to reply to an alien civilization that's maybe 20, 100, 1,000 light years away. Well, hang on a minute, a thousand light years means a radio message would take a thousand years to get there and a thousand years. I mean, it's just not practical. But we're all told, a bit like fusion reactors, it's all 30 years in the future. Well, I don't think it is. But today I'm going to share with you something rarely seen. An internal American CIA DARPA government document that clearly shows funding for faster than light quantum, bad word, communication actually was underway in 1982. Should the experiment yield positive results, an immense market exists for pair correlated photon generation. Research for this device has been conducted. No organization presently manufactures such devices. These devices would be miniaturized for commercial use. The Dr. Sarfati pair correlated photon switching devices are capable of operating faster and at greater capacities than used in the current state of the art computers and communication systems. Specific applications include the devices would eliminate the present requirement for subminiaturization and supercooling. The devices would provide elements capable of operating faster than currently used silicon chips. Military secure communications, unjammable and untappable could be provided the military and command control communications for submarines, early warning. NASA deep space probes and in key elements of the Strategic Defense Initiative now under consideration in Washington. Certain defensive weapon systems that would obsolete the need for nuclear weaponry. Other improvements could be made in spin resonance medical diagnostic instruments, in molecular design of pharmaceuticals, and in genetic engineering. New quantum telescopes could be developed as well as potentially new superphysics energy sources, zero-point vacuum phase transitions. Jack says that if in fact we can control the faster-than-light non-local effect, it would be possible. 
using something like the molecular dissociation approach to make an untappable and unjammable command control communication system at very high bit rates for use in the submarine fleet. The important point is that since there is no ordinary electromagnetic or acoustic signal linking the encoder with the decoder in such a hypothetical system, there is nothing for the enemy to tap or jam. The enemy would have to have actual possession of the black box decoder to intercept the message. The device reliability would not depend on separation from the encoder and not affected by ocean or weather conditions. Research and Engineering Office of the Undersecretary of Defense Washington, D.C. Dr. Sarfati's speculations regarding the possible application of non-local action at a distance theories to secure communication systems could be of interest to the Department of Defense if verifiable. Scientists have speculated over the possibility of faster-than-light communications since Bell's famous experiment in 1965. Dr. Sarfati's latest findings and conclusions along these lines would aid our determination of the potential benefits offered by this research and in arranging for any appropriate further discussions. Thank you very much for your interest in the research and development programs of the Department of Defense. In April 1985, an American theoretical physicist completed final work on a theory which, if proved in laboratory tests, alters the fundamental scientific interpretation of quantum mechanics and our general understanding of the universe. His calculations represent the next logical step in the theoretical physics work of Albert Einstein, Boris Podolsky, Nathan Rosen, and David Bohm. This new hypothesis provides a quantum view of the structure of the universe. It offers new clarity to the quantum theory, advancing it to the next level of understanding. The hypothesis, when tested, has the potential to usher in that era of super technology required by the United States to maintain the technological superiority of the West into the next century. The impact of the inventions resulting from this new approach on the economic, political, military, intellectual, religious, social, and scientific levels of society would be profound. The physicist has also conceptualized the first two basic devices, representing the practical, economic application of the hypothesis. Patent work is underway for both devices. The Quantum Research Development Corporation was organized in March 1985 to harness the economic and strategic potential offered. Sarfati hypothesis holds that there is a faster-than-light superluminal action-at-a-distance effect that can be harnessed for practical use in communication systems. Oh, that was very, very interesting. It just means that if they funded it and looked at it in 1982, now in 2024, it's been deployed. I guess documents like that reveal that the truth is out there. Mm -hmm.